and Jiki Torres here with Atomic Ranch. We're with Danny Daisy of Daisy Dead and Daisy LA, and she's gonna give us a tour of her house. Come on in. Danny, we love your colorful, vibrant style. Tell us about how you decorated this house. My background is actually in fashion design and this house was my first interior design project that really kicked off Daisy Den. And I feel like I design spaces very similar to the way I design a clothing line or a print. Uh, I really think about color and how I can make an impact and really like go bold with it. And I mean, this house is very bold. Mm -hmm. I love bright colors. Across all my design, um, I love color vintage and really just making a statement. Well, what I love is that a lot of times people are afraid they want to do this kind of style, color, pattern, but they're afraid and I love that people can come here and see it in action and show them that it's nothing to be scared of. Absolutely. I mean, one of my favorite things I like to do with my design, whether it's clothing or interiors, is to encourage and empower other people with what they wear, how they decorate their house, and I think that also translates into how you approach life and it can really be impactful. Speaking of bold, tell us about this wall. This is one of my favorite walls of the house. I mean, not only is it striking, but it's actually really meaningful as well. All of the artwork was painted by my grandmother. She was one of my biggest inspirations as an artist and a designer. And uh, when she passed away, we had just bought the house and I found all these different pieces. And that's what inspired this entire wall. So I picked wallpaper. Me and my fiance uh, did all the colored frames ourselves and kind of did a wall in honor of her at the house. And this is actually her self-portrait at the corner, oh sort God. of like an artist's signature. And it's definitely become the most statement wall of the house. And people just love the story behind it. I love it. How would you describe your style? Gosh, my style is bold, colorful, but also really playful but elevated and practical. Absolutely. Lots of things. <laughs> now, how did you go about finding pieces that were gonna like fit that vibe? One of my favorite things that a lot of people don't realize is there's customizable uh, furniture brands out there, like Joybird is one of my favorites. We have a ton of their stuff at both our Desert House and our LA House, but we're able to pick fabrics that match color palettes. We can pick the pieces we want and then whatever fabric and color we want on them. and. It's been an awesome way to really build a space that feels custom and special. So what are some of the things you've changed about the house? You know, the house was fairly turnkey. Uh, we really wanted to keep a lot of the original elements. We added a ton of color and pattern. And I have to say one of the biggest changes we made was the floor when we got the place. It was a painted concrete that was painted gray. It was almost like they were trying to trick you into thinking that it was like polished cement, but it looked bad and it was peeling and I didn't want to just do a polished cement. I wanted something that really matched like my brand and my aesthetic as something a designer. Fun. Something fun. And I love patterns as a pattern designer. So I wanted a patterned floor just to really add to like the fun energy in the house. And we decided to go with tile, which was an undertaking. This is some <laughs> gorgeous fire clay tile. Love we it. went with a checkered pattern, which to me is very timeless. And of course we did orange, which is like a running theme in this house. We bought the house, it had the orange door, and we just kind of took that and really went for it. Awesome. So 1959, William Chrysell, one of the coolest parts is how many original pieces you found in your house when you bought it. Tell us more about that. We knew the mid-century purists were gonna come for us if we did anything <laughs> with the pegboard cabinets or the original appliances. <laughs> And I mean, the, the original cabinetry is so beautiful. I mean, it has like peg legs and like really fun details. So we didn't want to touch it. I mean, it looks really good for how old it is. Um, so what we did was just repaint the cabinets. Um, we've had, you know, these refurbed here and there when needed, but these are all the original appliances and they work. They design that stuff to like maintain over many, many years. <laughs> um, we switched out some hardware, but otherwise, like all of it is original. That's so awesome. I mean, this is the stuff that you, a lot of people really just wish they'll come into when they find houses like these. Absolutely. We're gonna try to keep it as long as we possibly can because I love it. Um, so you work a lot with Joybird. What do you love about them? 
They're just amazing, good quality furniture. I mean, this is a rental property, so tons of people come through. These pieces see a lot of use, and they have held up over the past three and a half years. Something about this couch in particular that we love is, it is a beautiful couch, but it is also a pullout, and it is the most comfortable pullout bed you will ever sleep on. <laughs> and like, Having an extra room that's basically a guest room but can also double as an office or just a place to like sit and hang out is huge. And this is like the nicest like bed couch I have <laughs> ever seen. And your pets love it? Our pets <laughs> are obsessed because it's just so squishy and comfortable. And like we always pick like different colors of velvet. So it's just really soft and you know, they really like hold up well to pets. I mean the velvet like wipes right up if they're coming on here with muddy paws, but very resilient, huge fan. One of the things we love Atomic Ranch loves about Joybird is that their range from retro to boho really suits a lot of different tastes. How does that fall within your style? I love to explore like all the different eras of style. Especially as a fashion designer, like my mind is always like, you know, oh, I'm really into the 70s. Now it's like, you know, a Y2K throwback. <laughs> so I feel like I'm the same way with furniture. There's such a good translation between furniture trends and clothing trends. And a lot of times like the same eras will be trending. So I just have a lot of fun, like playing around with their different silhouettes and colors and fabrics. Like right now I'm obsessed with chenille mm -hmm. and they have a bunch of beautiful chenille fabrics. Like. I love the modular pieces, more bubbly pieces. Um, you know, I love mid-century, it's always classic. I'm also loving like Art Deco 80s mm. stuff right now and they have some great options for that as well. Well, we love options, you need options. Yes, <laughs> all the options please. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for giving us the tour of your home and explaining all the wonderful, awesome things you've done to it. And thank you for joining us and taking the tour and stay tuned for more.